into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking from him what is mine and making it known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I say the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Jesus said to the disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When I hear Jesus talking about the unbearable things of life, well, I sometimes want to run away. But I cannot. It is too late to run. There is nowhere to go. As painful as it is to remember, and as difficult as it is to talk about, I understand what Jesus means when he says, you cannot bear them now. In fact, likely every one of us here has had thoughts and fears of the unbearable. Every one of us has lived or maybe is still living a reality that is more than we can handle. A reality that has left us wondering 
how or if we will get through it. And somehow, we do. Think about what you have already born in your heart that you never asked for, never wanted. And if you had been told of it, you would have said, I cannot bear that now. The unbearable is that which we do not wish on ourselves or our worst enemy. It comes to us in the death of a loved one, the end of a marriage, the loss of a job, a diagnosis, or in a thousand other ways. It is the most painful experience we can imagine. It is that moment when all we can do is call out God's name. So let me ask you this. What comes to mind for you when you think of the unbearable? What are your experiences of the unbearable? Many of us, I think, focus on circumstances of pain, loss, and suffering, circumstances that break our heart, shatter our lives, and bring us to tears. <coughs> that is real. It is our experience of the unbearable. But it is not our only experience of the unbearable. There is an opposite side to the unbearable. Think about a time when love, joy, or beauty, amazingly real, so deep, so full, that you could not hold it all in. It was more than you could bear, and tears poured forth. Your heart was enlarged, and all you could say was, thank you, thank you, thank you. You stood in awe and amazement of what was happening, and silently wonder, who am I that God would be mindful of me, that God would seek me out? And we find that question in Psalm 8. Chapter 5. When has that been your experience of the unbearable? In what ways have beauty, joy, or love been more than you could simply bear? I remember a Friday morning on January 13th when my newborn baby boy was gently placed in my arms. He was so beautiful and amazing. It was more than I could bear. He was not crying, but I certainly was. Later, as a middle-aged woman, I surely thought I would crumble under the weight 
of the Holy Spirit. As the chairperson of Bay of Quinty Conference and my mom and Ted and my dear deaf friend Helen laid their hands on my head the afternoon I was ordained as a minister within the United Church of Canada. This kind of unbearable reality is beyond our grandest dreams and imaginings. It is more than the greatest and best wish for ourselves. It leaves us speechless in gratitude. It comes to us in the middle of a birth, a life filled with meaning and purpose, a love that is eternal and in a thousand other ways. The unbearable opens us to receive a new life we could never create or give ourselves. It shatters our fears, breaks through our defenses, and brings us to tears. Unbearable joy or sorrow can open our hearts wide. It can make us vulnerable real and authentic. It creates space for and invites us into intimacy. That is the beginning of new life. So there is a sense in which we need the unbearable in our daily living. Here's why I say that. We sometimes live unconscious lives. We are unaware of the little and big things throughout our daily activities and miss out to an extent on life, love, beauty, and each other. The unbearable reality of joys and sorrows can awaken us, offer insight into our lives, teach us about ourselves, grow us up, and bring us more fully into ourselves. Ultimately, though, these joys and sorrows Reveal the presence of a compassionate God who loves us deeply, who reaches out to all of us in all our encounters with the world. Those who experience both the unbearable joys and sorrows are given ears to hear, eyes to see, and hearts to love. I cannot help but wonder, what if God is never more present to us in our living than when we bear the unbearable? The death of a loved one, the loss of a job, the breakup of a marriage, the loneliness that <clears throat> cripples, the diagnosis that turns life upside down, or the unfathomable love, the beauty that leaves us speechless. 
the tears of joy. What if those things that ask more of us than we can handle, at least what we think we can handle, and offer us more than we could ever have imagined, are the very places in which God is most present and most real to us. They're in the unbearable places of us on the threshold of our lives. It takes us to the limit of who we are and what we have. It is a place where life feels so large and real. It is also the place that calls us to be accountable as we follow God's call and show up for the fullness life has to offer each one of us. When we stand on the edge of life, having borne all the joy and sorrows life has offered to us, something stunning and beautiful can happen. We are standing at the opening into all the truth. That's a pretty big and bold statement. But that is exactly what Jesus says will happen. The Spirit will guide us into all truth. The Spirit will declare, bring, and offer all that Jesus has and all that God has. Nothing is withheld. We may not know it, understand it, or believe it, but in the midst of unbearable reality, in the midst of our greatest joy and most profound losses, we are being guided into all the truth that the Spirit brings to us. Let us hear the wonder of Christ's Word and the Creator's love through our ministry this day. Let us listen for God's Word May we also be enlivened by the Holy Spirit in worship and in our service to our community, homes, and families. For God cheers us on in these moments of leadership as we go into our community with love, care, and compassion this day and always. This is God's word for us this day. All thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Holy One, we thank you for the spirit of truth that you bring into our lives with experiences of the unbearable, unbearable joy and unbearable sorrow. They are ours to learn from and listen to as we grow 
in our daily walk with you. Help us to follow and know that you journey with us. You keep us safe in this truth. You hold us deeply in your heart. We pray this day, God, for our world, a world in which there are many finances, of a great, a great number of activities, everything from indignity to individual living on the street, living without homes, not able to find food, clothing, any kind of shelter that is able to give them reprieve. We look around the world and we see the violence of wars and our hearts break for the civilians and the soldiers. We ask God that you bring us to a place of peace, peace and rest in your soul. We look at the numbers of mass shootings that take place almost on a daily basis, God, and the lives lost so needlessly. It all becomes unbearable. But we have hope in you, God. And we have hope that you bring us through circumstances which may hold us back for a while, but which we can grow from. We also pray for our world in which natural disasters are happening around our globe, whether it be fires, floods, tornadoes, all of these impact our lives and circumstances. We pray for your guidance and healing power to be within the community and in the lives of the individual struggling to rebuild and struggling to help one another um, regain their steps again as community. We now lift up to you God's prayers from the silence of our hearts. Let us now pray in silence. We thank you, God, for hearing and responding to these, our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen.
Go into the world as ones who are prepared to live life to the very fullest, engaging with the unbearable and knowing that you are held in God's hand as you do so. Go in peace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the faithful friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you this day and forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.